Hi frogs and frog families. Well, it's time to start our volcano project. So if you would get your uh, hardware cloth, the green piece of hardware cloth, and let mom or dad carry it, frogs, because it's quite sharp on the edges. You'll also need the attached bag of little, eight little pipe cleaner pieces and the small two ounce yogurt cup that is going to be holding you, the makings of your lava when we get to setting off an eruption with this project. You will also need some packaging tape. You can use this or the brown kind, it doesn't matter. And you might want to take with you a pair of scissors. So come with me, we're gonna to go to my backyard on my driveway and you can be with me while I put together a volcano. Twirl the hardware cloth into a cone and fasten with the pipe cleaner pieces. Trim the bottom of the cone so that when you stand it up, it is level. There is, or you'll need some scissors for that. Like this. Okay. See how they're sharp, those ends. Please tape the yogurt cup inside the cone's top using the clear tape. See how I, that is? Now you're going to cut newspaper into squares and crumple them up and stuff them inside the cone. This is a fun game for the whole family. It's going to take a lot to fill it up. There's even more there. Take each sheet with both hands and mash it hard into a ball. And then turn the cone upside down and stuff with these paper balls. And cover the bottom with two solid sheets of paper and tape up on the side and we're done. Hi there, frogs. It is time to start finishing our volcano. This is what you put together with mom and dad and your family using the um, hardware cloth plus balled up newspapers which you stuffed inside and then covered the bottom with newspapers. Also in the top, I'm going to show you again, Inside the cone, you take that little tiny container for yogurt. I used a little honey jar because we don't eat yogurt at my house. And now we are ready to put the covering on it. So what you will need are some cut up newspaper strips, about two inches wide. I have a whole pail here. You'll need something to mix your wheat paste in. And I have a bucket lined with a plastic bag because it's going to be pretty messy. And here we have a cup of flour. So I think what I'm going to do is dump it in the, dump it right in. There it is. I'm going to take my container uh, here, which is a measuring cup. And I have here a bucket of water. And I am going to fill it all the way up. Moms and dads, this is a four cup measure. What I'm going to do is slowly add this, slowly add this water and stir. And you can slowly add the water and have your frog stir. Okay, so let's see. I put in I put in about a cup and a half to two cups of water there. And I'm going to show you what I have here. See, whoa, wow, it ran. I can't really show it to you uh, that way. So I will do it this way. And I'm going to have to clean my driveway because I just put a bunch of it there. This is going to be a messy project. All right. So it kind of looks like this. I'm going to scrape it back in. And I am going to take some school glue. This is not 100% necessary, but if you put about a tablespoon of this in, it will help the newspaper soften and stick better. All right, so I'm stirring this up in here. So it looks kind of like this. So here we have our glue and our newspaper strips 
and you're just going to get them all wet. Ooshy and gooshy. It is good to have a pail and then slide the paste off and into the bucket and then lay it and wrap it around very gently on the outside of your volcano. Now this art or craft is called paper mache and we are doing a very simple version of paper mache with strips of paper. But you can also tear up paper in tiny little bits and make almost a newspaper clay. You can put these strips on two at a time. See, look at, look at my lumpy, lumpy, pasty stuff here, but that's okay. When it's out in the sun and it dries, it will look like the surface of a volcano. So I recommend that you cover this solution if you don't finish it in one day because it will get dry and stinky. So put a plastic bag over the, uh, over the bucket and you might want to put your strips in one at a time. I have not done that and they've all stuck together. So now we're going to just have a period of time here where I am going to just cover this up for you so you can see how it looks when it's done. Now, what is fun about this volcano is it doesn't have to be painted to look like a regular mountain. You can use any colors you want. You can make a rainbow volcano. You can make um, a red volcano. Pick, put your favorite colors on it. But this is something that you're going to want to have a lot of people in your family helping you with. Because see what we've done so far? And I have all this to do. Now. I'm going to show you how to do it around the top because that's important because you're going to want to put your baking soda in that little container and then pour vinegar on top of it. You can kind of stroke the glue down like this. And I'll show you how I'm doing the top of it. Now, the initial amount of paste that I asked you to make, one cup of flour plus maybe one and a half to two cups of water and a dash of glue, that may not be enough. I did not get this volcano from a recipe. I kind of made it up. Um, and paper mache is just something you kind of do by feel. You decide how thick you want your soupy, gloopy paste. And be sure, though it's a little late for me to say this, that you're wearing something covering your body or you do this when it's really warm and you can go run, have the kids run in the sprinkler afterwards. That's really fun. Okay, so I'm gonna just do a little bit more and you don't have to watch me finish the bath. But we're almost ready where I can show you, I can show you the top. Okay. paper around the top, you want to make sure you don't stick it inside the container, just around the outside. So I'm going to show you how I did it. See how I wrapped it just around the outside? Now this is going to get all hard and dry. And we have to let this dry out in the sun. So tomorrow, I'm going to let it dry overnight and put it out in the morning sun. I'll see if I can show you a special trick to make your volcano so the lava running down doesn't ruin it, okay? That you can use to protect it. So right now, I'm gonna 
push this here, pull it up. You're going to put the paper mache all around the sides. Even this, it's going to take a while. You may have to work on it two days. And then on the bottom, after the sides are dry, you'll lay it down like this and you'll put strips along the bottom as well. So you can see this is a big project. Now if we were at school, we would have all been working on one volcano like this. But because you're home, you each get your own. Isn't that great? So here we have it completely covered. And I put a little bit on the bottom and in order to let it dry so that I can lift it up after it is dry and it doesn't stick to the table, I'm putting a piece of wax paper down because it doesn't matter whether the wax paper becomes part of the volcano. But it does matter that I will be able, it is important that I'll be able to lift it once it's dry off of this plastic bag covered card table on which I am working. So there you see it is totally covered with newspaper. Now you can go over it once or you can let it dry and you can do another layer to make it really strong. And when it is dry, we'll talk about what you can put on it to keep it from getting wet during its eruptions. There are many things that you can do and supplies you probably have around your own home other than what I've supplied you. So that is the second stage of our volcano building. Now it's time to paint our volcano. I've chosen some leftover house paint. This isn't cooperating. And I'm using a bigger brush, but you could also use a smaller one like this. And the more hands you have doing this job, the faster it will go. So let me show you. Here is one side that I have already done. And you want to cover the volcano completely with the paint you've chosen, sealing it in. Now, if you aren't lucky enough to have some leftover enamel paint, in which case a mom or dad should do this painting, or if you have some acrylic house painting or even acrylic decorative painting, you can use that. But if you just have the poster colors, it's fine. Because after this is dry, I'll show you a way that you can protect the volcano during an eruption by fitting it with a plastic bag, which should seal it from the effects of the lava flowing down the side. So I'm not going to let this process go on too long. You all know how to paint. And if you want, you can even put two coats on it. Because I said we would be exploding this tomorrow, I'm only going to put one. And see how quickly I did that? In just about five minutes. And now I'm going to do the other side. When this is dry, you can turn it over and paint the bottom to seal that. And now, besides, except for drawing, I think this volcano is complete. Now you're saying, why is the volcano blue? Well, it's blue because that's the color paint I had to use. And I had red paint, but I think the lava that comes out of it tomorrow will be red. I want you to be able to see it. So that's why I chose blue besides. It's one of my favorite colors. Well, it's the next morning and our volcano is dry. I covered this with a light uh, acrylic primer house paint. But as I said earlier, you can use whatever you want. Now, if you want to have multiple eruptions, here is a way to make a plastic raincoat for your volcano because having wet 
uh, <laughs> wet lava flowing down the side is going to make all of the paper you put on there pulpy. So I took a tall kitchen trash bag and I cut the corner off so there's a small hole. And now I am going to slip it around the volcano okay, this way so that the hole and the cone meet. And then I'm going to tuck all of the rest around here, around the bottom. And then you can take packaging tape or perhaps masking tape and tape it around on the bottom, but especially give attention to sealing the plastic edge inside the cup that will hold your lava making materials, which are baking soda and vinegar mixed with food color. That way you can do it over and over and over again. So have fun with your volcano project.